What's good, YouTube? It's your main man, AB the Hero, back again with another video. And we had a late one game started at 10.30, so this is going to be a quick recap, but it's going to be solid. Just like tonight's game was. LeBron versus LaMelo, Hornets versus Lakers. LaMelo's first time back in, in LA. Um, however, I feel like they laid the blueprint out. It should be clear to this Hornets team after tonight's game of what they need to do to catch W's. Let's <laughs> So you probably, if you have not been under a rock, you've seen that the media has been trying to hype this LaMelo versus LeBron thing up all week, right? And so tonight, the game to me met the hype, right? We've seen LeBron score 37. We've seen LeBron, um, LaMelo give you 26. We've seen moments in tonight's game where LaMelo pretty much took over and did his thing. We're going to get into all of the details. Let's go. Appreciate y'all subbing to the channel. Hit the notification bell. It's been appreciated, man. We on the way and we're growing. Almost at 11,000 subs. And uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm just hyped up every day. You feel me? All right. So we got to start here, man, and give some love to the King. 37 points, 8 boards, 6 assists, 44% from behind the arc, 60% from the field. He showed up and had one of those Jordans, I took it personal moments, right? We all know that he heard what LeBron said, and he showed up like, I mean, he heard what LaMelo said, and he showed up like, like, yo, <laughs> you're going to feel something after this one. But LaMelo, on the other end of that, man, really had an overall solid performance. If you caught the halftime show, we talked about it. It really looked like the first half that they decided that we're going to start this game, but we're not going to feature you. LaMelo like you can get in where you fit in maybe but it's not your offense to start this game and the Hornets looked like they were struggling they were keeping it close keeping it close enough to stay into the game but there were moments where um, they started pulling away at the, at the half I believe the the Lakers were winning by 14 points third quarter comes around and they say LaMelo bro it's your time bring us back Brings it back. They tied the game at some point in the what killed them was foul trouble LaMelo kept getting in foul trouble at some point He got down to five fouls to, to close out in the fourth quarter And they had to pull him out of the game right when they were starting to make it close, right? And we know when watching these Hornets play if it's a close game They got some of the closest clutches players in the NBA however, they had to pull Melo and Borrego Fix the rotations doesn't put him back in until it's a 12, 14 point game with a minute and 40 some seconds left. LaMelo comes in, comes, scores right away, scores again, and it's just too much, too little, too late, you know? And so what I'm hoping is that these Hornets take that and say, you know what, man? We are a better team when you have the ball in your hands, Melo. When you're bringing the ball up the court, not even if you, not even just you gotta shoot it or score, but we get easier shots. We get easier shots when you're facilitating the offense. That's what I would love to, to, to see them make that adjustment going into playing the Clippers. Because if they do that, it looked good, man. Terry Rozier, um, a solid performance tonight, 26 points. Devontae Graham, uh, 12 points. <sighs> I tell y'all, these late night games begin, you boy. Uh, 22 minutes. We see, uh, and I appreciate this about Borrego tonight, right? 36 minutes for um, Gordon, 39 for PJ, 37 for uh, Terry, 33 for LaMelo. And LaMelo would have had more had he not been in foul trouble. I can say that. I believe that. But um, so so I, I, I like this because this was, I believe, their first test of like, let's see what it looked like if we play playoff basketball, right? We're not going to spread out the minutes so evenly where everybody got to be um, over 15 minutes a game and all that. No, nah, no, nah, bro. We're going to give our key players the most minutes. And when they were had their key players on the court, they looked like a solid ball club. You know what I'm saying? Melo, 40% from the field, 55 from behind the arc. Let's get into the the play-by-play -play here. We go look at these critical minutes here. As you, as you can see, man, it's, uh, it's, a solid, it's a very close game here. At five minutes, Miles Bridges comes in for P.J. Washington. Uh, I believe down here lower, there's a sub for Devontae Graham. But what we're seeing is that 
every game he started to switch it up you know what i'm saying so at the beginning it was like pretty much like clockwork you can see what he was doing and in this game and, and now he started to switch it up but look at this man look at this graph here at this point here in the third quarter that's when Lamelo is going off on a tear and actually tie the game up then you start to see them playing with the the then pulling him and all of that stuff and then you start to see it go down it goes bad and starting uh so it's a good game man overall uh they gotta stop playing late like this bro because your boy ABB, i'll be out here tired man let me know in the comment section man uh who you think obviously lebron overall took off won this matchup tonight lebron versus Lamelo. you know what i'm saying but uh how who do you think like hell they on right who do you think it was more important that's the question who do you think tonight's game was more important for them to come up come out and show up and show out was it important for lebron to tell the young buck yo hey um i see what you said but i'm still the king or was it important for Lamelo to say you know what i said what i said and i said it with our chest let me know in the comment section what y'all think um this is a, a, a this is a solid game man it's a late one so we're gonna end this thing early man she man man abd hero we out no not peace plus one triple b's we out